Let's check it out. It is the Stems Creator Tool. Just came out today from Native Instruments. This is going to allow you to make your own stems to use within Tractor. What I have here is I have Machine. I'm going to show you on Machine how to export your stuff, how to bring it in there, how to make it all happen. So I have a little something going on in here. Um, just a little warning here. I'm not exactly a producer. I can't say I'm like a guy who makes beats. I'm more of a DJ into the tech. But this is giving you the idea how what you would do is you're going to go in here, you're going to export your audio. So this is a two part deal. Someone probably knows a better way, but I was playing around, figured this out. So I want to export the groups, right? So those are my groups right there. I probably could have been a lot nicer and named them in here too as well too. But yeah, I'm not going to bother with all that. Um, I already made a folder called Stemus2 and I'm going to loop optimize. I'm going to export. And as you see, this is going to take a moment or two. So if you're not familiar with stems, what stems is is the four parts of the track that you can mix independently within your software right here. Real easy. You're going to be using the F1 here to control the stems. Um, I'm going to be um, sitting right here. That's a little bit better. And so this is going to take a moment. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to pause the stuff real quickly here. Okay, it looks like we are... Are we done? Optimize the loops or groups. We are done. Okay, so one more thing you have to do is now... I can find my mouse here. You're going to also... Do, you have to do the master. So you're going to say master and you're going to export. Once again, I'm going to pause this while this is happening because we don't want to waste your valuable time. So while we're waiting for this here, I'm just going to quickly remind you that, you know, check out one of my other videos. If you don't know how to hook up an F1 with stems, it's simple. I mean, you just make sure 2.9 is hooked up and just make sure you're dialed onto the deck. You just want to be dialed on to, if you've got your stem in deck A, you're in deck A. Simple. And when you have a second one here, make sure it's dialed in. Um, I didn't reset this one at one point. Sometimes if they don't respond, all you gotta do is just literally unplug it, plug it back in, dial in, and there we go. And it is done. Okay, so this is where the fun stuff comes in. You open up your stems creator. I'm gonna go in here, and it looks just like this, empty, right? I'm gonna hit the plus sign. And this should be interesting because, well, we're obviously gonna go with the bigger one here. But just keep in mind, because I already exported one into this folder, you might want a separate folder for each one just to make it real easy for you. So I know this is group A, B, C, D. That's the main one right there. And obviously you'd rename them how you want just to kind of, you know, keep it easy. But so I'm going to say, go in, that can go in there. Double click. Where is B? B can go in there. Double click. C can go into there. Yep, double click again. D, go in here. That's your master. And then go up there, name it. So I'm going to call this test. Test is the artist. Um, test step. And you know, you can add cover art too if you like. There we go. Stupid little cover art. And you know what? 
there's videos explaining to you about all of this, about how to uh, control it, your dynamics, and blah, blah, blah. You know what? I'm not that concerned at the moment. This is just a real quick how-to on how to get this thing up and running. So obviously, the longer your song, the slower your computer. You know what I mean? All these variables will take into account how long it takes to export and do all this stuff here. If you're wondering, I'm running, this is an i7. Uh, this is a late 2011 and 8 gigs of RAM. I think it's like a 2.9 dual core processor. And I'm going to pause this once again. Well, uh, maybe we'll just wait around for that. It's going to be done any second here. Here's the other thing to keep in mind, too. This is going to export an MP4 file. That file is going to be located exactly where the rest of those files were from the machine when we exported. So we say, okay. We can now be done with that. We got tractor open here. I'm with tractor. And I'm going to go into, I had all my stuff just in my, um, I think it was in a documents folder or something here. Yeah, and there's a folder called stems too. And there's the one right there, if you can see that. One that called test. So what you need to do, right click, you need to analyze this. All right, so let's analyze, bring that into a deck A, get out of the browser mode. Um, I usually have my stuff set up in colors here, but let's see if this works. I like to uh, make sure these go up and down first when I first start up. And... And it works. So that's it. Um, that video was about eight minutes. That's probably longer than you wanted, but that is kind of how it's done. Just to kind of give you an idea, like a hundred and uh, I think I started off like 120 bars. That worked up to like four minutes, so like that's a song, you know what I mean? Even though it's not much of a song, but like for mixing purposes, like for mixing other stuff, it's kind of nice to have these little things in here, right? Anyways, guys, that's it. If you like it, click the like. If you don't like it, go ahead and say something. I don't care. Talk to you soon.